Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. If you're gonna fish for catfish, you gotta have one thing, and that's some kind of catfish bait. In this video, we're gonna talk about the five most popular catfish baits. Over the years, catfish anglers have tried a lot of stuff to catch catfish. Everything from the manufactured stink baits, the pack baits, to hot dogs, to chicken parts, to, well, just about anything. Now, what I did to come up with this ranking uh, was I polled a lot of catfish anglers that I know from around the country. Now, I didn't ask them what was their favorite catfish bait or what they used in tournaments or what they thought would catch big catfish. What I wanted to get from them was their opinion on what they have seen either growing up or along the bank or from people out in the boat, the casual catfish angler around the country, what they are using for catfish bait. Well, I can tell you right now, number one is gonna surprise you, uh, but we're gonna start with number five and work our way up. Well, coming in at number five, it's not a surprise that it is on the list because it is a popular catfish bait anywhere you go in the country, and that's chicken liver. Now, I will say this, I got a lot of responses uh, that were chicken liver slash chicken part. So I kind of lumped this one together. But yeah, chicken liver has been a very popular bait uh, since I was a kid catfishing. Part of it is, is well, it has a bloody kind of look to it. And a lot of people believe that catfish are attracted to blood. Now, whether that's right or wrong, it's become very popular. The other thing is, Chicken liver is readily available just about anywhere in the country. And the other factor is it's cheap. Chicken liver is probably about one of the least expensive chicken parts that you can get. Obviously the downside to chicken liver is the frustration of trying to keep it on the hook, but that's a whole nother video that we will do. For now, coming in at number five was chicken liver. Now coming in at number four was no surprise that it's on the list either, and that is the manufactured baits that fall under the category of stink bait. Uh, this could be anything from the pack baits that you can buy in jugs and local tackle stores uh, to something that you can kind of mush together at home. Usually these concoctions uh, are manufactured. A lot of different people make them. You can buy them in a bag. You can buy them in a tub. Uh, generally speaking, they stink. Uh, it's, it's why they're called stink bait. You uh, ball this stuff up, put it onto a hook, and uh, cast it out into water. It is, um, comes apart, comes off the hook easily, uh, requires you to rebait quite often, uh, but it will catch fish. Generally speaking, it works better once temperatures get a little warmer above 70 degrees and seems to be more effective for channel catfish. Uh, the obvious uh, uh, appeal that most anglers think is the attractant for catfish is the smell. It is very, very pungent when it comes to smell. Uh, and it doesn't go away on whatever utensil you're using to put it on the hook with. Uh, generally speaking, in areas where there are catfish, it's readily available. You can also order this stuff via mail order uh, to have it shipped to you. But uh, it is definitely something that most catfish anglers around the country perceive as a good bait and something that they want to use to try to catch catfish. Well, coming in at number three, it's also one that is no surprise uh, because it's pretty much in most waters anywhere in the country, and that's bluegill. Uh, now, some places you can't use bluegill as catfish bait. They're considered a game fish, they're protected, and you can't use them as bait. But in areas where they are legal, they're a very popular catfish bait, whether people are using them as cut bait or using them live. I think part of the reason is, is that it provides the casual catfish angler an opportunity uh, to easily access fish from the waterways that they're fishing in. Not everyone knows how to throw a cast net or has that ability or even has a good place to throw a cast net. So uh, being able to catch bluegill and use them for bait gives these anglers an opportunity to use actual fish from the waters they're fishing in. The great thing about bluegill is, well, they're easy to catch, relatively speaking, to throw in a cast net. They're generally up and down the bank out there in the summertime when most people are out chasing catfish and they can be caught on a uh, piece of bait, a cricket, or a red worm underneath the bobber. 
and it's pretty much uh, a fish that any angler of any level of skill uh, can can catch these fish and I think that's the broad appeal plus let's face it it's kind of fun to catch bluegill uh, it's addictive seeing the bobber go down and uh, no matter who you are or how long you've been fishing uh, if you're brand new to it or you've been fishing as long as I have I still like catching them I still like catching them under a bobber and uh, they make great catfish bait they're one of my favorite springtime baits especially as these bluegill start moving up toward the bank uh, to do their spawning, uh, a lot of catfish are in there feeding on them also. Now coming in at number two, I'm telling you folks, I think number two and number one are gonna surprise you. Uh, but number two is one you're gonna need a cast net for, and that's shad. Whether it be gizzard shad, threadfin shad, shad is one of the more popular baits around the country. Uh, in many places, people fish with frozen shad or dehydrated shad that you can buy. Uh, they sell this in some Walmart uh, stores. There's a lot of bait and tackle stores that will sell this stuff frozen. There are some uh, tackle places that will sell live gizzard shad that you can buy uh, where it is legal to do that. Uh, shad is a very popular one. Generally speaking though, if you're gonna catch them yourself, you need a cast net and you need the prowess uh, to throw it and to catch these things. So. Uh, it can be a little tougher bait to come by, but it's a very popular bait around the country uh, for people to use and people to fish with. Uh, pretty much most of the country, uh, most of the catfish country, I guess you would say, that has catfish also have shad, whether that be gizzard shad or threadfin shad. Um, so it's a, it came in at number two. I was kind of shocked that it wasn't number one. But uh, understanding that being able to catch them in the cast stand is a little more difficult. Uh, it makes sense why the number one catfish bait in America is where it's at. So what is the number one catfish bait in America? Well, remember, I asked my fellow anglers out there what they saw more people fishing with than anything else for catfish. And believe it or not, it's worms, night crawlers, red worms. Uh, night crawlers was the popular answer because they are so big, but worms, uh, these things are one, readily available in your yard and pretty much any bait and tackle store will sell uh, red worms or night crawlers. Uh, it's very popular, easy to use, you don't have to catch them, they're affordable to buy. And the other cool thing is pretty much any fish in the water will eat them. You can catch a lot of stuff on a red worm, everything from bluegill to bass to catfish, a lot of stuff eats worms. And that is probably why worms are so popular and used in so many areas around the country. Uh, they are a good bait, an effective bait, and you can even dig them up and out of your yard. So I think that's why the worms, red worms, night crawlers uh, was so um, mentioned so often by all these anglers that uh, I, I interviewed about this. Uh, kind of shocked me it was going to go that way, but after looking back on it, it makes perfect sense. Uh, if you want to go out and catch catfish and really catch just about any other fish out there, get you a tub of worms and you're ready to go fishing. Well folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.